Hey everyone, welcome back to the road to 6 gigahertz. This is episode 2. At the end of last episode, I hit a stopping point because these Noctua NF820s are 30 millimeters thick and standard mounting screws that come with the radiator are 30 millimeters. So these are not large enough to fasten the fans to the radiator. And what I had to do was go online and find these German engineered Alpha Cool M3 by 35 millimeter fan mounting screws. So here they are. I'm ready to get these fans mounted up now. While I was looking for those 35 millimeter screws, I also found these radiator, what are they called? Universal radiator feet made by Alphacol. So here are the feet some felt padding on the bottom. And then this one is already attached, but they have adjustable brackets that come in the bag with accompanying fasteners. Okay, so I'm gonna throw these on there. Okay, I'm gonna open up the reservoir. This has a D5 pump in it as well. Here it is, it's the XS, XSPC170, uh, something, something, it's in, it's in the description. It's got a SATA power connector. It's like a, a pump connector. RGB connector for the light bar inside. And here are the motor specs. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out where to mount this. I've got some soft tube fittings from Barrow. Of course, they're in white. I have some generic stops from Amazon. And then I got some Alpha Cool stops as well. I'm gonna open one of these up. Show you what the fittings look like. Here they are. This is the outlet for the reservoir. The line will start here. I think I'll give it about this much room to move around. Once you've got the taper on there, it's a little easier to just push it down and just force it from the top instead of going so close to the edge. And once you've got it all sealed down, go ahead and drop that Fastener down, and we've got one tube ready. Okay, now I wanna route this over to here.
So I've got a EK Cryofuel, solid white of course. I ended up putting the entire liter into the system and it was still chugging air. So I hopped in my car and made a quick trip over to my local micro center. And luckily they had the EK Cryofuel premix in solid white and I picked up two liters while I was there. Now equipped with two extra liters of coolant, I fought the traffic all the way home and I was ready to continue the project. Just working all the air out. Pour a little more in. Oh, shit. These fans are dead silent. The water pump is actually louder than the fans. So I ended up putting about maybe one third to half a liter extra coolant into the system. And so now in total, there's probably close to one and a half liters of coolant running through that system. If you follow my channel at all, you've seen that I've already posted some benchmarks with Scuba Raptor. Now you've seen the entire build progress. This was my first water-cooled build and it was a lot of fun. I'm really happy with the way it turned out and you know, just really enjoyed the journey. Starting from researching water cooling systems, researching different radiators, you know, the Alpha Cool Nexos XT45 versus the Mora 420. Should I go with soft tubing versus hard tubing? What type of motor should I get? Do I go with the D5? Do I go with the DDC? Do you go with standard fittings? When do you get right angle fittings? When do you consider splitters? All that was very confusing to me before I started this. And the pictures become a lot clearer after completing Scuba Raptor. I consider this build to be V0.0 and it will be going through many iterations in the next episode, I'm going to share the V0.1 list of mods and the order list that I'm compiling. So, I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me in this journey of building an extreme water cooling setup for my 13900K and SK Hynix A dies rated at 8000 mega transfers per second. This is top level hardware that requires complementary top level gear to push it to its limits. So in the following episodes, I'm going to be beginning to tune the machine. And if there's anything specific you want to see, as always, leave it in the comments below. Visit my website, shoot me a message on Discord. I'm always open for a conversation. So that's gonna do it for me. If you enjoyed the episode or got something out of it, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.